This is Kampala, the capital city of Uganda. As more and more people migrate to Kampala city in search of a better life, many find themselves living in informal settlements where they face numerous challenges, including poor housing conditions, poor drainage systems, inadequate sanitary services, and evictions by landowners or the city authorities. There is a, a lot of uh, evictions. There is a lot of unplanned settlements which leads to flooding. There is a lot of um, sanitation issues and water. People don't access good sanitation and water. Land is a major challenge in Kampala because land is, is not owned by the government. And so people are squatters. Most of the slums people are in squatting on people's land. Kampala's land tenure arrangements are among the most complex in the world, intensified by one of the highest rates of urbanization, leading to uncoordinated urban expansion and many land wrangles as a result of claims, counterclaims and illegal evictions of the slum dwellers. The way people own land, we have so it is very complex, so complex. We've got people who are owning land by lease. And the lease depends either 49 years or 20 years or even 99 years. So lease system is there. We've got a condominium style system. It is also there. We've got a free, uh, freehold title. It is also there. So this whole mix-up of land ownership creates a very big challenge to identify who owns land and who is the right person whom you can face to help you negotiate for land. The slum dweller should own land in the city. One, to have where to shelter or a house. Two, to have a working environment which is conducive for them. Three, to have a good social well-being as an individual or as a family. So being a slum dweller does not discriminate one from being part of the city. Security of land tenure is one of the most critical components of slum upgrading and sustainable urban development. Building on success from Mbali municipality, where the social tenure domain model was first piloted in 2013. The National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda, in collaboration with Act Together Uganda and with support from Slum Dwellers International, the UN Habitat and the Global Land Tool Network, have been promoting the use of STDM as an innovative land information management system that provides for the inclusion of the urban poor and the marginalized in the land tenure debate. The social tenure domain model is a, a land information tool, land information management system, which could which helps us to work on different, incorporate different layers of uh, of land rights and bringing them into the information system. So you find that it takes care of both the formal and informal systems. For example, how do you map and enumerate all different rights in uh, informal settlements like slums and so on. So this is a tool that could be easily used to understand what is the situation and how do you solve it, working together with the community in a very participatory manner. It is free. Anyone can, you can have access to it. It is easy. It is not as complex as the other land tools that are available. It is um, a tool that does, gives room for registration of land rights, both formal and informal. The National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda is using the social tenure domain model to map and conduct community enumerations in selected informal settlements of Kampala City, thereby gathering essential data necessary in addressing security of tenure challenges in slums and informal settlements. We collect this information basically to see, to know our settlement very well, to know um, our tenure rights, to know the service gap uh, within our settlements, and to lobby for the development of our settlement. Of course, we are into settlement upgrading. Uh, GLTN has helped to train us the STDM versions and the tool itself. And then also SDI has played a very instrumental role that we've been training on data capturing 
uh, using the, the paper, using the tablets, and now the GPS. So we use the, all these machines we train on how to use them. Now we go and train also our, slum, our fellow slum dwellers who are going to capture that to, or to collect that information. How do you map using the GPS? And we train them on how to use the GPS. It is ourselves, the slum dwellers, who collect this information. We train ourselves. With such information, it becomes easy for slum dwellers already involved in the process to discuss their priorities with Kampala Capital City Authority and landlords. We use it to advocate for our rights. We use it to advocate to receive social services. We use it to advocate for the open world to understand that there is a big challenge. Housing is an issue, land is an issue. So when it is captured in our data, everyone is able to read and understand. Through the use of the social tenure domain model tool, the National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda has been able to achieve a number of things. We've built up a very solid partnership with most of these actors. Today, if I'm going to meet the Minister of Lands, the committee, or the Commissioner of Lands, surely I just knock. I don't need to write and request for an appointment. But we have, if they give us even their phones, we just call them and we communicate and we meet. Today when you go to Kawempe, the municipality of Kawempe knows all the federation members. We are doing a cleaning of the settlements, they give us trucks. We need partners, we need to work together with partners. And that's why we need to work with the Act Together, which is NGO. We work with the National Sambrillas Federation, which is um, which is an association of the urban poor. Uh, we are working with the local governments because we believe that uh, it is in local governments where implementation of the programs take place. We in the ministry are responsible for policy, but policies cannot remain at the center because they must be translated into programs at the local level. We have worked closely with the ministry to, to ensure that uh, STDM as a tool for land accessing tenure should be part of the tools that should be adopted to be legally accepted. We've uh, also concretized the partnership with the Buganda Land Board as a partner to make sure that they get Buganda Land Board cards. They will pay very little money to have these cards. Of course there we are securing tenure for these people or for these uh, uh, slum dwellers. We've also achieved the two plans that is in Suna of Urubaga and also Chisenyi one in uh, Kawempe, Bwaiise one. We've, we've got those two plans and they're into the process of being approved. We're working with the physical planner of every, munis every municipality. Now the physical planners are the ones who approve these plans. We have the five settlement, I mean municipal development forums, where we sit with all people in the city, like the mayors of the cities, like the town clerks, like people who had different departments in the city, we sit with them, which has never been there on record. For the first time since 2013, it has started being there. We are able to hold a city-wide development forum, bringing together the three, five divisions of Kampala. You sit together as stakeholders of the city to discuss issues of the whole Kampala Capital City Authority in one city development forum. For us, that is a success. Today there is strong partnership between the National Slum Dwellers Federation, Kampala Capital City Authority and the Buganda Land Board. Information generated through the STDM tool has been used to drive discussions in municipal and settlement development fora where slum dwellers discuss their development priorities with Kampala Capital City Authority, local leaders and landlords. The National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda is further using information generated by STDM tool to identify landowners to negotiate on occupancy and tenure issues within the informal settlements. With concretization of these partners, definitely it will help us achieve most of the goals. That is one. Two, we're also putting our efforts towards security of tenure to most of the people who are staying into these areas especially where we work because using stdm we registered already the tenure relations that are there and now we are working with the partners 
Now we are working with the landlords who own these lands to make sure that they can acknowledge and give them the certificates of occupancy. Buganda Land Board, well, that's one, has accepted, but of course that is not enough. They've accepted to give them the Buganda Land Board uh, card, which acknowledges their stay onto that land and it shows clearly their stake. Are you owning for how, how long? And I'm sure using STDM, surely things will work out well because we've tried and we have achieved some.